Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you have a wonderful day. In today's video, we are looking at a company called Moderna. Recently, some of you asked me to look at this company and that's what we're going to do. In 2020, I actually had used basically bought two shares of this company. At the time I was using Hargreaves and Lansdowne, as you can see, I paid basically almost 12 pounds to actually just purchase this stock. And then I think I sold it when it hit about $80 per share. And at the time when I bought it, it was only $31 per share. The stock went up all the way to $250, no, $450 per share at some point in 2020. So it was kind of the, one of those meme stocks, very volatile stocks, if you like. I only bought it because a couple of my friends were like, oh, this is going to go to the moon. And it actually did, genuinely at the time. I thought, you know what, it was. A, I had a little bit of money left in the account. I went for it. I bought it. I made a little bit of money. I sold it. Only two shares. Um, and then that was it. That was the story. So what happened was around the company actually became public in 2018. Nothing was happening in the company until 2020 when they came up with a vaccine and then from there it just went up and it, since then it's been holding on really well. I mean, if you look at recently, uh, Morningstar actually increased the valuations um, because um, because they now started working with Merck. Merck basically has a drug called uh, Keytruda, which is a cancer drug, immunal uh, oncology drug, and they are now working together. Um, basically with Moderna and for that reason their stock price actually kind of went up for a bit for especially for both companies um, and today they've actually came up with it just today I think it was up 7% when the market opened this basically uh, this morning but I think right now maybe it's, it's come down quite a bit because um, because the overall market has come down quite a bit so yeah basically they're coming up with a new vaccine basically new vaccine and 84 percent effective at preventing disease in older adults which is quite nice to hear i guess so what we want to do now is i'm not going to go through their product line so i'm going to go through the financial side of things and then obviously if you're interested you can do you know a bit more research and learn about the company so they currently trade in 198 dollars per share EPS is $27 per share. And then market cap, we're looking about $73 billion. It doesn't have any economic moat, okay? And beta is quite high. Very, very volatile stock. It goes up 7% up, 6% down, this and that. So it's always a swing in left and right. So you have to be careful with this type of business. But when it comes to valuation measurement, okay, we're looking at PE, forward PE, and price to free cash flow is actually very decent in comparison to the relative to the overall market in the, the healthcare um, sector, if you like. Free cash flow is actually quite nice. They've got $6 billion in the bank. And when it comes to profitability, they're doing really well, okay? And in the last three years, they've actually returned 109% total return, which is absolutely amazing, right? But look at the current ratio, it's actually quite nice. So they have enough money to cover their liabilities in the next 12 months, which is absolutely amazing. In terms of um, valuation measurements in the, from the analysts, we're looking at next year, there's 81% decline. Now, the reason that's happening is because of the, obviously because of the vaccine um, product that they have. The, all the other products are not, I don't think, as profitable as the COVID vaccine, okay? And for that reason, it's actually gonna go down quite a bit. That's why they're try to probably trying to diversify. I'm, I, like I said at the beginning, I don't know what is in their pipeline. I know they're working with um, Merck and companies like that, but we'll see what the future holds for this company. But it looks like because of COVID, it went up quite a bit in terms of earnings and side, side of things. And now in the next five years, we're expecting basically a bit of a decline, not a bit, almost a 50% decline in every, basically in every year in the next five years. That's huge. Unless they can diversify and actually come up with other products that will hold up uh, in terms of earnings side of things. In terms of valuation, simply Wall Street actually thinks is almost a 42% overvalued right now. And when you look at the Morningstar, it's actually saying 28% discount. Tip rank is almost the same, 10% discount and, and Seeking Alpha, both are 10% upside, which is, um, if you think about it, not that bad. And then Seeking Alpha is actually saying it's a buy. So the, in terms of valuation, the analysts are more or less ag agree with each other apart from the simply Wall Street. And I think if, if I don't know much about the company in terms of their product line, if they have a massive product line coming up 
maybe you then you are willing to pay a little bit more for the company but right now from from pe side of things it seems very very cheap and these companies actually these analysts in these companies actually agreed with them okay um in terms of Sharia compliance side of things, we're looking on by almost 100% a bit from business side of it. Interest bearing debt is quite low and interest bearing securities is also very, very low. Um, when we look at their revenue, okay, so we're looking at revenues, just, just the revenue um, without the estimates. Basically, 2020, they had 800 million. 2021, they had $18.47 billion. So that's why there will be huge decline, okay? Because the jump from this to this is huge. So it's ex definitely expected to come down a bit. But guess what? 2022, once they report their final um, um, final earnings report, the, the fourth quarter, for example, it actually will be up about night, basically just a bit, okay? Just to have a bit, have a mi uh, billion dollars. And then the decline starts from there onwards, okay? And same goes for their... Uh, basically earnings per share quarterly that's that is and they definitely have beaten the estimates in the last couple of years um apart from just the la basic last couple of quarters if you like apart from the the third quarter so the fourth one we're still waiting for it so we'll see what happens um once that basically once they report that in fact i can check when they're reporting because they might be re because the earnings will have started in fact i'm going to quickly show you the earnings actually have started basically last week. They um, a lot of companies have reported, especially the banks. And tomorrow, uh, Thursday, actually, Procter & Gamble is reporting, PBG and Netflix and a couple of other companies are reporting. And from there onwards, you might see a lot of volatility in the market because if any of these companies come out and they have a negative outlook in terms of the economy and they report basically there's a recession or whatever it is, then the stock market is going to tank and that's something that could potentially happen but you know what as long term investors i do not mind that because i will actually be able to add to my portfolio some of the best companies out there for a less okay but yeah they're reporting in april actually um they not in april in march 24th of february sorry 24th of february so basically a month and a bit left of that so yeah, overall, it's a great company, um, but for me, it's not one I would be looking at anytime soon. And one of the reasons is, is because if you look at it from the as basically outstanding shares, shares outstanding, for example, look at this, they have been increasing, obviously, because they're a growth company, okay, they're still growing, but guess what? They've actually, in the last 12 months, they started buying back their own shares, which is quite nice, and the total sales are going up. So if you own the stock, for the, for the long long term and you know what the pipeline looks like then obviously keep them in your portfolio add to it whatever right it seems fairly valued at the moment but if you just bind because of the momentum that situation is slightly changed these days okay we're no longer going to see this madness of basically stocks going to like to the moon if you like okay then it's not going to go back to 400 500 dollars per share anytime soon because Remember, the stimulus checks are gone. Everyone now is putting money into the market that they own. So they have to work for that money. Can you imagine going back, going to work every single day and then putting all your money into like one of these crazy companies? You're not going to do that because you have to be basically, you have to have a margin of safety. You have to think about the long term plan. You have to think of all sorts of things. The days are gone where we just like buy stock. Even at the time when I was buying these two stocks, I would I didn't know what the hell I was doing. It was a couple of friends that said, oh, this company is great. They're coming up with a product, blah, blah, blah. The next vaccine. And at the time, it was just when COVID happened, everything was shut. So I bought two shares and then it went to the moon in the next four or five months, whatever it was. So I sold it. I took that money and I think I bought more Apple shares. At the time, I used to own Apple, so I bought more Apple shares. But yeah, so the moral of this story is this is a great company. If you know what they sell, if you know their product pipeline, pipeline if you like, if you know where they're heading in the next few years, if you understand some of these things that some um, products that they're coming up with, then maybe the fundamentals do not look that bad in terms of profitability. They look very decent. If you're willing to wait for the next five to 10 years and forget about the fact that they will be declining earnings and you know they will be fine for the next whatever years, the profitability has been great for the last couple of years, but that doesn't guarantee it's going to continue the same direction if you like. 
So in my opinion, I will not be adding this company to my portfolio, I'll be honest with you. Um, maybe in 10 years down the line, maybe, but right now, definitely not. Because there are other companies out there that are better than this company that potentially will give you a better returns um, than this one right now. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Keep an eye on the market. Keep an eye on your companies that you own because they will be reporting. There might be volatility in the market. Even just today, when the market is open, everything was green, right? A couple of hours later, everything is red. So, so something has happened. Something has changed, obviously. So you just basically um, look out for bargains, basically companies that you own that are really cheap right now. And obviously, if you're interested in adding some companies like Medtronic and so on that I own in my portfolio, 2% down, I will be definitely buying some stocks today. I've just added £500 to the portfolio. So we'll see what, inshallah, I add to the, and then I'll let you know what happens. Assalamu alaikum. Take care. If you haven't liked the video, please, you know what to do. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum.